Michigan's task force on juvenile justice reform has been working for a year on finding ways to make the system fairer and more efficient for children that find themselves on the wrong side of the law. Today, that task force is releasing the results of their findings and making some recommendations, which could be a game changer for thousands. The group was formed back in the summer of 2021 after Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed an executive order establishing the body. Over the course of a year, the group met nine times, pouring over data and hosting several study groups with hundreds of participants to identify the key areas of concern. Josh Weber with the Council of State Governments says Michigan is doing many things right, but there are so many ways to improve the system. There's a lot of good things happening in Michigan, but we were surprised that from one county to the next, how different the system looks. And so that's one of the real benefits of this process and of the recommendations is it, is it doesn't um, take away from local discretion, but it creates a statewide floor of kind of best practices for all local courts to avoid what we call sort of justice by geography. Some of the recommendations include creating a statewide juvenile public defense system, expanding diversion opportunities for youth who are not a public safety risk, increasing funding for effective community-based programs, and adopting data-driven tools to guide diversion, court, and detention decisions. Weber says the report is the end of one process, but begins another process. The goal really is to translate now those recommendations into legislation legislative changes, appropriation changes, court rule changes, administrative changes. Um, so we're really um, shifting from one phase to the next phase of the work. Ultimately, Weber says when it's all said and done, there will be uniformity and fairness across the board for all children in the juvenile justice system. If you'd like to read the report, we have it on our website. That's fox47news.com. Your neighborhood reporter, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.